you really feel like you're going back in time when you turn off the Palisades Parkway and you turn by Conklin's, the old farm and orchards, and you drive down South Mountain Road. You know, of course, there are newer houses being built, and some of them quite grand scale. But you really get a sense that you're sort of leaving the present behind. And when you turn up the driveway, you feel kind of sheltered against the modern world. And you feel like you're coming back to that, that time when Henry Varnum Poor and his wife, Bessie, lived here. It just, it just has a very, it has a really magical, magical quality. There's this system that my father figured out of beams that run, some are supported by other beams and others are supported by pieces of concrete that sticks out from the walls and the whole thing supports the whole upper floor of the house. So that gives you this enormous big empty space with no pillars or nothing. And those are all, those still are trees that were cut on the property. He died in, he died in 1970, so he was 83. Sort of odd, I'm older now than he was when he died. But uh, he died in 1970 at the age of 83. My mother died five years later in 1975. Uh, his paintings, you know, he had good periods and bad periods, to be perfectly honest, as far as painting was concerned. And as far as the ceramics were concerned, some are good, some are bad. But that's true of every artist. <laughs>